Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the starting methods of the three-phase induction motor. So generally, every machine have some starting methods. What is the needing of the starting method? Starting method that means it requires some starters. Definitely, it requires some starters. What is the starter? Name itself it represents before starting the any machine. The starter is having very important role. So basically, any starter having do any starter will do two works. The first work is it should control the starting starting current. Should control or decrease the starting current. If it is not control the starting current, what happen? If it is not control means starting current is for example high, then automatically when it wind when it flows to the winding then automatically heat will be generated due to that heat the winding will be burn the winding will be burn so that is the main intention to control the starting current so control starting current and the second most important thing it required high starting torque high starting torque because what is the importance of torque? Generally, torque is the, the twisting force, twisting force that will be useful for rotate. At standstill condition, generally it is in standstill, it requires more torque because it, it has zero speed. So it requires the torque is very, very high. So that's why it requires the high starting torque. The, these two things will be provided by the starters that why starters are very very important the, we have number of different starters in this we have DOL starter and uh, resistance starting method and inductance starting method and auto transformer starter and uh, we have star delta starter these are more number of starters in this first starter the DOL starter so name itself it represents Simply DOL stands for direct online starter. So name itself directly the supply will be given. Directly online starter. Shortcut it will be called DOL starter. Okay. So in this DOL starter, just observe here. Induction motor is started by connecting directly to three phase supply. Here directly DOL starter name itself we have a three phase supply. This three phase supply directly connected to the three phase induction motor so there is no restriction actually there is no there is no controlling directly it will be given yeah the motor draws high starting current about four to seven times of rated current at low power factor then what happen when the directly supply is given without having any control it will draw it, it, it will take the starting current generally it is four to seven times of rated current rated current so it will be very very high current will be generated okay then but we already discussed about two things controlling the starting torque and improving the uh, controlling the starting current and improving the starting torque but for the small motors there is no requirement of these things so that's why it is suitable for the small motors for the small motors there is no requirement of the starters that means small motors means what is the rating rating is it is up to 10 kilowatts rating is up to 10 kilowatts for so up to this rating it will be very useful it will be very useful this is about the DOL starter. The next starter, stator resistance starting. So name itself, we are giving three phase supply to the stator and before that we are adding a resistance at starting condition. This is stator resistance starting. Look at here, this RYB supply before giving to the three phase induction motor, we are giving three resistances. We are giving the three resistances. So look at here. External resistances is connected 
in series with the each phase of the state are winding during the starting so during the starting only look at here we have connected three resistances r y b the r external cause voltage drop across resistors so this is external resistance will be so it will give at this point and at this point and at this point it will give some voltage drop it will produce voltage drop that means the given supply will be drop across these voltages so reduced voltage across the terminals so for example supply is 415 volts we are giving supply so some of the drop is across these external resistances external resistance drop means for example it will take 100 volts then there is the three phase induction motor then there is a three phase induction motor that will take less voltage and low resistance here voltage will be decreases we have some resistance then automatically the starting current will be decreases okay yeah hence the starting current is decreases the the starting external resistance gradually cut off in steps from stator circuit at the motor axle so when motor accelerates that means motor getting speed accelerates means motor getting speeds and the starting external resistance will be cut off slowly external resistance are, are gradually cut off gradually cut off that means gradually decreases cut off means gradually decreases okay yeah so when the speed is increases initially zero speed and speed will be increases then automatically these external resistance will be gradually cut off that means it will come this point yeah so when speed reaches to rated speed when speed is reaches to rated speeds approximately so it may be at 1500 and at 1000 rpm depends on the poles the r is resistance r completely completely cut off r is completely cut off that means r will be zero completely cut off and full voltage will be applied full voltage will be applied full voltage will be applied so then automatically motor will rotates a simple thing at starting condition decrease the current we are adding some resistances that's why the voltage will be drop then after that full voltage will be applied across it okay so so this is the thing and it has some disadvantages it has some disadvantage what are those the reduced voltage starting that means the st at the starting the voltage is reduces the starting torque that will reduce the starting torque hence acceleration time increases so the voltage decrement generally what happen the starting torque also decreases why the approximately starting uh, the approximate torque equal to ks into v square by r2 square plus sx2 square this is the formula this is the formula okay so acceleration time it will be increases it will take more acceleration time and the lot of power is wasted why the lot of power is wasted the simple thing generally the power is i square r i square r here r will be increases then automatically the lot of power will be wasted power will be wasted okay these are the disadvantages okay so this is the stator resistance starting next is auto transformer starting so name itself in the last in the last topic we discussed about stator resistance starting here the auto transformer starting 
here we are replacing in that r is replaced by r replaced by x that means resistance is replaced by the reactance here the resistance is there r y b those are replaced by a reactances so this is the three reactances okay what happen what is the use of this replacing what is the advantage the advantage is so simply waste waste of wastage of power decreased wastage of power decreased yeah so that's why the power wastage is decreased means the power will be useful yeah this is the one thing and here look at here advantages low power loss and low starting current starting current will be decreases power loss will be decreases because inductance will decrease the voltage but not the power power will be constant does not affect the power active power it is used for large motor over 25 hp so it is useful up over 25 hp more than 25 hp it is very very useful it is very very useful and so these are the three methods we discuss those are dwl started directly we are giving it is small motors that means for the small motors there is no requirement of the starter and second thing stator resistance starting in this we are adding some resistance that means we are adding some resistance means it will be useful the starting current will be controlled the starting current will be controlled next next is the auto transformer starting so name it self there is a auto we are replacing resistance with the inductances then automatically wastage of power will be decreased so it is used up to 25 hp okay this is about the starting methods of the starting methods of the three phase induction motor i hope all of you understand the session thank you